Okay, it's time to give another award. And just look at this. Once again, they've let me get my hands on the trophy. Uh, and this one is a little bit special. This is the Stuart Graham Scarf and Goggles Award for the most admired competition car. And I'm thrilled to say that I'm stood next to Stuart Graham. And he's going to take this off my hands because it gets heavy after a while. Uh, Stuart, that's for you. Um, if you can do the duties for us. But just before you hand it over, you have been around all of the cars here and you've singled this amazing car out why what's the what's the thinking well it's always a terribly difficult job every year to do this but because everything here is special in its own way but when you look at this wonderful Peugeot and the fact that it's got good Silverstone history as well as a bonus then frankly we thought it was very outstanding you don't see one of these every day of the week so uh, it, we decided to go with this one great choice do you want to do the honors and hand it over to David Congratulations, and uh, this is one of the biggest trophies you'll ever get. <laughs> David, obviously you've had all the fun of being able to throw this around Silverstone all weekend, so how special does it feel to also receive this awesome award? No, this is really very special. It is, I mean, it, for a start, it's the only diesel car here of the thousand-odd entries, but that in itself doesn't make it special. But I think the fact that it won, you know, the Sebring 12-hour uh, and the Zuhai 6-hour and Silverstone 6-hour makes it a very special car. Uh, and uh, these cars are just absolutely remarkable things. I mean, I'm nowhere near the potential of the car yet. It's only my second race. We haven't tested with the car, and we're running at, you know, a fairly low engine map, so there's more to come, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And Martin Short and I had a fabulous race, and it was an honor to race with somebody with that sort of background. Mm. Only your second race, and you've got your hands on a titanically huge trophy. <laughs> that I certainly have. I live in the United States, so do I get to keep this? <laughs> Uh, well, we'll let Stuart decide that. Uh, there we go. Another fabulous moment here at Silverstone Classic.